Hello and uh, welcome to Pipe Mania on the Commodore 64 and this is sort of a arcade uh, puzzle game and uh, well let's get started now the aim of the game is to uh, drop tiles, there's a row of tiles on a column of tiles on the left and the top right it says L01 that's level run and D14 is how many tiles we've got to drop and at the bottom right there's a timer that's going to tell us that, that tells us uh, how long it was to the, 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 the flow starts of the pipe and now the flow has started we've got to drop as many tiles, well we've got to meet our quota of tiles to drop before the uh, flow reaches the, the uh, its end When it can't flow any further, that's the uh, end of the uh, level. If you haven't met the quota, then it's uh, it isn't unfortunately uh, game over, or you lose. Yeah, it's game over. So let's have a look. D zero one. So one more tail, and that's it. And you get. So we've now finished the level basically, but we get more points for. Prolonging the flow as long as possible. Yeah, fuck it, that'll do. Now these uh, cross tiles, uh, it means that it can flow either way, but uh, it will just keep flowing in the direction it was going. And that's it, it's quite a simple game, but uh, a quick finish. Uh, I've probably played the Amiga version a bit more, to be fair, which is slightly more polished, uh, but uh, basically the same game. Um, so on to the next level. This later levels have a finish pipe as well that we have to reach, but uh, not in the early earlier levels. So it's a matter of looking at the pipes and trying to sort of plan ahead. So the flow's going to start now. Oh dear. Ah, so I, I didn't manage to uh, complete that level. I can't remember if you get any lives or just it's just game over. It's game over. I think every four levels you might get a password. So we're back to the start. And you also lose points at each level for every every excess uh, tile that you've put out. So if you put just put out ones you don't want to use at the side, you know, like, like, like I just do this because I don't want to use them. Uh, we'll subtract points for every wasted tile. Oh. I think I'll do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, easy. So that's a, a fairly nothing particularly brilliant, but it's a quite well done uh, puzzle game. Uh, graphics are functional. Uh, I mean, they're fine. I mean, they don't need to be any better than they are. Um, Sound is a bit sparse and a bit basic. Uh, maybe nice to have some in-game music to add a bit of tension, but uh, it's just played in silence really, uh, apart from the odd ping. Uh, gameplay is fine. Uh, it's quite a quite a fun game to play. Uh, it can get a bit frustrating at times, but uh, that's part of the appeal, I guess. Uh, that's what keeps you coming back for more. I say I'll probably play the Mega version a bit more, but. This 64 version is absolutely fine. Um, can't really find um, 
much to fault uh, fault it. So um, yep, I'll give this uh, I'll give us eight and a half out of ten, I think, because yeah, it's, it's quite a decent game. I don't play it much more in case I change my minds. Yep. The other thing is, it's, it's frustrating when you you know you're on level four and you lose a, a and it's game over and you, you just didn't get the password that you needed to uh, to restart on level five. So uh, yeah, it's a bit frustrating that way, but. Uh, as I say, it's part of the appeal, I think. So, yep, uh, Pipe Mania, 8.5 out of 10. See you in the next video.